So right now, like I was saying, the back is the exact same height as my truck, pretty much with the 38s on. So once he gets 46s, it's gonna go up even higher than that. He may end up making the back a little bit taller, but we're not sure yet. We're gonna get the front together first. His front is already a lot higher than mine. Yeah. Now I definitely have to go uh, parallel. Thinking about uh, putting a weld here. Pack all of it up. Yeah, right. Oh, right here. Sorry. Yeah. Same always, always there. in the way. As soon as your truck's done, nope. we're taking it through the pond. Nope. <laughs> this is how we're going to test it out. Nope. If it's going to break, wouldn't you want it to break down here? Like 100 yards from the shop you just built it in? So we pretty much got this axle sitting exactly where we want. We got it stretched forward about two inches with the pinion angle set to nine degrees. These are obviously gonna set level. They're just kicked out a little bit because of the angle they're sitting at. So I was talking to him earlier. Basically, this is where the axle is gonna sit. This is the height he wants. So he's not changing where he's putting his upper coilover tabs. We're just gonna adjust the coilover to where when it compresses, this is the height it's gonna be sitting at, which is a good probably four inches taller than my truck right now on 38s. Now it is squatted pretty bad, but with a truck this big, you can get away with a lot more squat. I think he's gonna be fine with it for now, but we figured out these are eight inch lift springs from Deaver. So what we're gonna do is once the front's done and we know where that's sitting, and we can obviously adjust that a little bit more, but he's gonna take these leaf springs out and I'm gonna give him my 10 inch leaf springs for whenever I do my four link in the rear.
right, while he's finishing tacking on those coilover brackets, I've been cutting out these gussets that we're gonna put in here, something like that. Should work pretty good, stiffen up those brackets a lot. So once he's done with that side and all four gussets are welded in, the only other thing I think we're gonna do today if we get time is weld on this pitman arm. He got this drop pitman arm that I cut the end off of earlier this morning. He's welding right here on the knuckle for his high steer. Get a lot better angle on his steering. All right, coil over brackets are finally done. I gotta throw a coat of paint on that side so it don't rust. We got jack stands underneath the axle, making sure that's not gonna roll or go anywhere. So we're about to jack up the truck a little bit higher and put these coil overs in, put a little bit of pressure on it and kind of get a better idea of where ride height's gonna be. So we got something to figure out. These brackets up here kick too hard at an angle this way. So it's wanting to kick the whole axle forward. And it's not wanting to line any of this up. So we're about to see what we can do about that. He's gonna go get his link bars tomorrow, hopefully, or at least go get them ordered. So hopefully next week and we'll have those next time we come down here and we'll be able to measure these. We're gonna go ahead and put those in. That way we can push this forward to where we want it, put the wheels and tires back on and be able to set it back on the ground and see if this is gonna cause any problems or not. Cause we're really not gonna know until we put it on the ground. All right, so like y'all saw, we kind of hit a roadblock with all of this. To be honest, really nothing can be done until we get the link bars anyway, but we're gonna keep trying to make some progress. He's still gotta make his upper four link tabs right here. So he's gonna get started on that here in a second. Amy also still has to weld on the high steer pitman arm on his knuckle. But while he's doing that, most of y'all know I'm four linking the back of my truck. I have an idea for an upper coilover mount that I wanna make. So I'm about to mock that up at a PVC real quick and see what that looks like and see if my idea is gonna work. It looks kind of crazy on paper and I'm not sure if it can be done, but we're about to find out. Like. Okay, so just like I was telling him, I can't really get this 100% like I'm thinking, like I'm wanting it, because for one, I couldn't get a while like I could get with a T, because I want this to come out an angle this way. And then with these angles I got and how big they are, I can't really adjust everything exactly how I want it. This was actually supposed to be a lot shorter, only a little bit longer than this piece, but this is the only way I could do it. So when I take this to a fab shop, I'll be able to explain to them what I want better and they'll be able to see it. This is what I'm thinking. That'll sit up behind there in the middle. That's where the cool overall mount, this center piece up here, which is only sitting at the bottom of the fender well is gonna be where my reservoir is gonna mount. Obviously I'll have frame plates welded into that that I can bolt in. But that's kind of my thought process on my rear coilover mount. Will it work? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Yes. Actually, I just thought of something. I'm kind of limited on the amount of angles that I bought of my 90s and my 45, but I have an idea on how to set up this up differently. So it'll get it a lot closer to exactly what I'm thinking in my head. Oh, that looks so much better. We're getting somewhere now. 
That looks a lot better. That is almost exactly what I'm wanting. The only difference that I want to change, like I said, I can't do it with these tees. I need Ys. So now let's see what it looks like in the fender well. That's going to sit up against the underside of the bed, square these up on the frame, and that's what it would look like. So from here, the coilover will be going up behind these gap fillers that me and Michael have, and then the reservoir will come out and mount up there on the top. Yeah, I like that a lot. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want something that I can bring up and tie my powder coat color into the body of the truck and the fender well. Also, I just ordered my dual shock hoops from FTS a couple days ago. So as soon as those come in, I'm gonna have powder in the front fender well. So I want something in the back to match that so it's not just all up there. So I think with something like this, it'll come out really good and really match the front tile all that in together. 